Hello, big team. Hello, friends. Welcome to Lizzie Fay Loves Books. I'm Elizabeth. I am so excited about the response so far for the hashtag more Montgomery challenge. It is so fun to read the comments and already several people have commented on my Goodreads group about their experiences with, you know, how old they were when they first read Anne of Green Gables or anything by Miss Montgomery and the comments in the videos for both mine and Mitzi's announcements. I'm so excited about how many of you are planning to participate. So I thought I would do a series of videos um, starting now before the whole thing starts and also continue on through the challenge to, first of all, let you know about the possibilities for all of the different prompts. Now, I will put here the challenge board. You can call it a bingo card if you want. It's nine spaces and three of them are watchable. Uh, seven of them are readable. <laughs> That's because one of them you could watch or read. But I want to just go through each square one or two at a time and talk about the possibilities for each one. Because there are a few people who have said they plan to participate who have not read anything by Lucy Maud Montgomery. So let's just start with the top square in the corner, which is standalone novels. There are five to choose from. I've read them all, but I don't remember all of them very well. So I may be due for a couple of rereads for these books. But let me just share with you what they are and tell you a little bit about them as best as I can remember and let you choose for yourself which one you might want to read for this top square. So the first one I'll mention is one that I hear talked about the most. Probably of all of these standalones, this is the most read and the most popular, and that is The Blue Castle. It is about a young woman who is 29 years old, which by the standards here is considered an old maid, and she has never been in love, never experienced love, and... It goes from there. I don't remember a lot of details about it. It is well loved by many people. So if you've already read this one, I want to encourage you to pick one of the others for the top square. But if you look down in the bottom uh, <laughs> right corner, there there is an option to reread or rewatch a favorite. So of course, if you've read this before and you want to read this again, it could count for that square. The next one I want to talk about is the shortest one. It's the one that I've read or listened to the most recently, probably two years ago. I listened to this one on Hoopla. It is called Kilmeny of the Orchard, and it, it's about a young woman who is mute. She cannot speak, and she is very beautiful. Uh, the young man in the story has been sent to Prince Edward Island to be a school teacher. I think a short term, maybe two months. And as he's out walking one day, he sees her. And when he approaches her to speak to her, she runs away. And every time he sees her, she is terrified and runs away. So it's the story of how he is finally able to befriend her and get acquainted. And it goes from there. So this one is a very short book. If you don't have a lot of time, then you might want to choose this one. And the next one is one that I remember really enjoying. I also believe there is a movie adaptation of this book. There may be movie adaptations of these others, I need to really dig in and do some research. If you know of any movie adaptations or TV adaptations of any of these five standalones uh, besides this one, please let me know in the comments. But Jane of Lantern Hill is about a girl of 11 who has always believed her father was dead, and she lives with her mother and grandmother, and then discovers through a series of events, I can't even remember how, that he is alive and well on Prince Edward Island. So she is allowed to visit with him one summer. She spends the summer there on PEI, and the story in unfolds from there. It is a sweet story, and I remember really enjoying this one. The one that I remember the least, and <laughs> I can't even tell you anything about it, is Magic from Marigold. It is about a young girl. We actually start learning her story from the day of her birth when 
They can't decide what to name her. And eventually they settle on the name Marigold, which which happens to be the doctor's name who delivered her. And that is considered a very frivolous name and, you know, not appropriate by some people. But so anyway, I really don't remember anything about this. But as with all things by Lucy Mon Montgomery, I know that I enjoyed it. And uh, I should probably pick this one to read for that top square <laughs> because... Um, it will be like reading it again for the first time. And the one standalone that I remember being my favorite is A Tangled Web. Now, I first learned that this was the only standalone or the only thing she wrote for adults. I have since heard that The Blue Castle was also written for adults. And that makes sense since the protagonist is 29 years old. But when I first was learning about Lucy Vaughn Montgomery when I was inhaling all of her books. This, this is the only one that I thought was an adult book. This story is really about a family feud. There is a matriarch of this one family and the family has branched into two different tribes or factions or whatever and they are all feuding about who will receive this one heirloom item, which I believe was a brown jug. And the matriarch of the family has apparently been on her deathbed for quite a while, supposedly. <laughs> and everyone is trying to ingratiate themselves to her in the hopes that she will pass this brown jug on to them. And... I remember it being hilarious. My mom and my sister, who I share very uh, much the same reading tastes, did not like this. And I think it's because it really is quite different from Montgomery's other writings. But I just remember thinking it was hilarious. I don't even remember how it ended, but uh, I just really, really enjoyed it. I thought it was fun. The characters are quirky and the the banter and the situations are just a lot of fun to read about. Now, you don't want to take it too seriously, of course, but uh, just, you know, take it with a grain of salt and have fun with it. But this is the one that I remember being my favorite standalone. So as far as rereads or rewatches, I may very well reread this one for that bottom right square on the challenge board. So here's the board one more time. Uh, take a look, see what you think you might want to read for each of the squares. And on Sunday of this coming week, Mitzi and I will be doing a live stream here on my channel at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. And we will be chatting about some of our favorites, what we're planning to read, our TBR for the challenge, and uh, all things Lucy Maud Montgomery. So I hope that you will join us. Meanwhile, take a look at these five standalone books, and if you uh, would like to do a blackout or do a bingo that includes that square, then uh, I hope you will find one of these books to your liking and be interested enough to read it yourself. So that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day. Read a good book and God bless you.